He had better shut up. Hey, you! I never knew that. And okay, let's go. Where? Honestly, really we'll believe that. Up. To Onar's farm. Do you really think? Then let's go. Follow me. That's not what I heard. Someone's exactly gotta do the work. Now well, that's typical, isn't it? You don't say. Honestly, I wouldn't say myself. Adonis feared for the day in which the beast would return oh, to the land. That. Now that's typical. Can't isn't rely it? on that. That's not what my husband thinks. I've heard a thing or two. I won't tell her a thing from now on. He had better shut up. About those stone tablets, I've got one here. Thank you. That's enough. Now I could keep my promise to the water mage in town and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there. Wait a minute. Show me how I can hit harder. Right. Pay attention. There's a simple trick. When you hit, you don't take strength from your arm, but from your entire body. Turn your hip, bring your shoulder to the front, and stretch out your arm at the same time. <laughs> if you hit right, you'll notice the difference. Look who's just turned up. The farmer boy. You're just in time. Who are you anyway? That's none of your business. If I wanted to tell you who I am, I'd have done it already. Got it? What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. You're talking about Diego. It could be that that's his name. I'm not sure. I probably only know when I see him. Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. 
Didn't you find a weapons dealer in the city? You can't be serious. They only have junk. Weapons? The mercenaries have weapons. Ah, interesting. I heard that the fat farmer Onar had hired the boys. <laughs> Not too bad for a landlubber. Not a bad idea, but I really should pay them a visit. Provisions? You're in a tavern. The stupid barman won't hand anything over unless you pay him for it. Here's ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor sucker. You can keep your dough. I have a better idea. There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help me with it. Who are you? I'm Orlan, the keeper of this here modest tavern. What are you looking for, stranger? Maybe a decent sword or a, a good piece of armor? A good swig from the country stills or uh, just some information? I can give you all that and more if your coins ring. Same old thing all over again. Do you know that fellow with the eye patch? I've seen him here before. Nasty piece of work. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs rooms, he he along with a huge crate. I used to say that myself. He had to be constantly nagged about paying the rent for That's his room. A long time. And even then, he took his own sweet time about it. Then, one me. day, he vanished, yeah, just like that, along with the crate. Uh, I don't want anything to do with the likes of him. I used to say that myself. That's what kind of armor can you offer me? I have here a very nice piece that is sure to please you. You listen to the wrong. Thing. I'll think about it. As you like. But don't wait too long. Don't tell me you didn't know that. How's it going with your tavern? Times have been better, you know? People's purses aren't as open as they used to be. I couldn't care less. Am I being paranoid, or are you staring it's at my ring? Long time. Well, I, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. He really should have known better. There's nothing you can do about it's it. It's an aquamarine. Ever seen one before? Yes, no I have. Really wants to hear that. Well, welcome to headquarters, to brothers of the ring. Head. What can I do for you? That was no big deal. Have you ever used a teleporter stone? Is it really are true? you out of your mind? As long as none of the water mages yeah, swear to me that there's no danger, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near those things. They ordered me to hide one of those teleporter stones, and Can't rely well, on apart from that, I'm staying well away from them. Hmm. That doesn't surprise me. Where is this teleporter stone? There's a cave to the no south, idea. not far from my tavern. That's where the water mages found one of those things. Can I have a look at this teleporter stone? I don't care. Here's the key. No, I blocked the entrance. How much do you charge for a room? For a brother of the ring? Nothing. Here's the key to the upper rooms. You pick one for yourself. Is it really true? I've got no time for things like that. Is the beer any good here? It's not exactly the best, but in these bleak times, you can't be choosy. What are you doing here? Up until a few weeks ago, I was slaving away on the landowner's field. One day, it just got too much for me, and I took myself out of there straight away. Now I'm my own boss. Everything I own is in this chest here. That's all I need, too. Interested in a little contest? What kind know. of a contest would that be? I call it bottoms up. The rules are quite simple. We take turns ordering a tankard of the best beer the old geezer has to offer. Every tankard has to be drunk dry so that it doesn't even leave a ring if you set it on the table upside down. The last man standing wins. The loser pays the tab and a stake. Well, how about it? Maybe some other time when I'm not in a hurry. Nothing amazes me anymore. Did anything else of interest happen? Not that I know of. 
Nobody tells me anything. Could I bet on someone else, though? Certainly. If you finally manage to find someone with the guts to go up against me, then I'll bet with you. Everybody pays the same amount into a pot. The winner gets everything. The size of the stake depends on your purse. Bring me someone who dares to go up against me and you've got a bet. Been there, done that. I've got somebody who wants to compete against you. Who might that be? Randolph. <laughs> Randolph the Brag. All right, why not? Send the wimp to me and the deal stands. You can pick him up again no more than two days later. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and he'll be able to stand by then. How big is your bet? I used to say that myself. One hundred. That's what I like to hear. I'm not telling you anything new. I'll take your bet and hold it until the contest is over. All right? Here's my stake. All right. Don't take too long bringing Randolph here, you hear? That isn't true. That was obvious all along. Nobody wants to know. Hey, you! What are you creeping around there for? Nobody will learn anything from me. Tell me that isn't true. <laughs> I agree. Uh. I'm no better off myself. Been there, done that. <laughs> I agree with you completely. That was no big deal. It's all just gossip. The things I could tell you. That was obvious all along. The things I could tell you. I'm not telling you anything new. And that's the truth. Nobody will learn anything from me. He thinks it's as easy as that. I'm not telling you anything new. You don't have to tell me that. That's not what I heard. And there's more, believe me. That's been known a long time. I used to say that myself. Will it ever change? So, here we are. So, the rest of the way you can manage alone. I have to get back to the city. I've got a few things to take care of. Just follow this road here. And remember, stand up for yourself and don't take any crap, and it'll be smooth sailing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another one of those beasts. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Ah! <laughs> so much for you, filthy beast. Hey, you! Let's visit the cave. Come with me. That's been a long time. Isn't this 
There's another of those gummy beasts. One less monster around. All right, friend. Here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried the stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you, then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go. Nothing to be had there. I think I've found something. What took you so long? Found anything yet? Yes, I dug up a small bag of gold. Give it here. Here you are. Great, so they're still there. You're not all that useless after all. Okay, listen. I've buried even more, and I want you to get it for me. Let's see. There's an islet in the small lake with the two waterfalls. 
One of my caches should be there. There are two more spots where I buried something further up, in the high pastures. One spot is behind the farm up there, and the other one's next to the entrance to the pass by the waterfalls. There are stairs leading down from the fields of the farmer up there to those of the landowner. There's another cache in the hollow where the stairs end. I'll wait for you at the crossroads by the landowner's fields. Don't fail me. You'll regret that, Buster. One less monster around. Nothing to plunder. There's another of those. One less monster around. Can't rely on that. I think I've found something.
I used to say that myself. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Hey, you! I couldn't care less. This here is your hut? Bad yes. Goodness. Why? Anything Someone wrong with it? To practice more. Don't you have any problems with the mercenaries? Uh, as long as I don't interfere with their business, they'll leave me alone to too. Tell me that. Moreover, they're good customers, and I pay them to keep an eye on my house when I'm not home. Nobody wants to know. Show me your wares. He said that. There isn't much choice, I'm afraid. That's no secret. I'm no better off myself. It had to happen sooner or later. That's all just gossip. No idea, you tell me. <laughs> I agree with you completely. He simply needs to practice more. I never knew that. I've got no time for things like that. I'd have gone about it differently. I used to say that myself. Is it really true? He thinks it's as easy as that. Do you really believe that? That will never change. I never knew that. I couldn't get away with that. All that matters is strength. So don't tell me that. He thinks it's as easy as that. I'm not telling you anything new. What do we have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. And you had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. All right, what do you want here? I know Lee. Everyone knows Lee. That doesn't mean a thing, pal. Right now, you're talking to me. So where are you headed? If you say so, I'm on my way to see the landowner. Indeed. Hmm. You don't look all that dangerous to me. I've killed a beast or two on occasion. Ha! <laughs> you probably flattened a few weevils in the fields and chased a couple of rats from their holes. We're dealing with orcs here. Well, yeah, and with those scummy city guards. <laughs> Do you mean real orcs? Those big things? I'm talking about... <sighs> Just a moment. Are you trying to pull my leg? Oh, far be that from me. You worm! You're really asking for it, huh? And come and show me what you've got, you hero! Anytime. Come closer then, buddy! Well, we'll see the next time. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. 
There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers. And if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? No. That's what I thought. Can you teach me how to fight better? I might well be able to give you a hint or two. I might... I want to join the mercenaries. Anyone who can whack as hard as you shouldn't have too much trouble around here. My vote doesn't count much, since I haven't been here for long. But when Lee asks me, I'll vote for you. Lee is the leader of the mercenaries, isn't he? Right. Hey, now I remember where I know you from. You were in the colony, too. Hmm, so I was. I didn't see you when the Big Bang happened. Not for a while before that, either. I had... other problems. You've missed out on quite a lot, then. Things have changed since we were in the Slammer together. What became of the mercenaries in the colony? Once the barrier was gone, Lee let us out of the colony. He said that nothing could happen to us if we all stuck together. And he was right. It wasn't too long before we found ourselves a cozy spot right here. The landowner pays us to beat up the militia from the city, and most of us would have volunteered to do that even without pay. But Onar feeds us all, and we can bide our time until we see a good opportunity to get away from this blasted island. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. That isn't true. What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week. And it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself. And the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword. But with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to see some gold. <laughs> you bastard. You want to take advantage of my situation, eh? Either I pay you, or I bite the dust. All right, I can pay you 50 gold pieces. That's all I got. Let's attack the nest. 
right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. One less monster around. One less monster around. One less monster around. So, this is where they dragged the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Wait a minute. What about our agreement? Are you kidding? You didn't do anything for it. I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. Oh man, my head. Wait a minute. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? I think you're hide. What the? I just love to watch you kiss the mud. Nothing there. Oh man, my head. Where do you think you're going? I wanted to have a look around, that's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Ha! So you're headed for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here, hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then, let's see what we have here. Ah, gold! It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? And? How are things? Not many people come this way, but up to now every one of them has paid my toll. I have come to join you. Nice for you. Do you understand that the mercenaries are going to vote whether you get to join them or not? Will you vote for me? But then, why not? Fifty gold pieces is a fair price for a vote, don't you think? No one really wants to hear that was obvious all along. 
And that's the truth. It was just like you said. Hey! What do you want? Nobody wants to know. I'm better off myself. I want to have a look around the farm. No big Don't go into the building on the left. Silvio's in there. He's not in a good mood right now. If he sees a weakling who doesn't belong on the farm, he might get the idea of venting his bad mood on him. Nothing amazes me anymore. That was no big deal. I want to join up with Lee. Lee won't have much to say around here if he keeps on this way. What do you mean? He wants us all to sit around here and twiddle our thumbs. Intimidate a few farmers now and then, and that's it. Silvio always says offense is the best defense, and damn right he is. You hardly know who to believe these days. I've got no time for things. Who is Silvio? Our next leader, if you ask me. If you plan on asking him if you can join us, forget it. You look like you're barely good for herding sheep. Nothing amazes me anymore. Methinks I'm gonna punch you in the face. So you didn't know that. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been too nice to you so far, haven't I? Oh my god! Not bad. <laughs> you showed him who's boss. Gold? Okay, that's mine for starters. I've got my own opinion about that. Isn't really done that? It's all just gossip. Things would have turned out different. Just you wait, you son of a bitch! Never pick a fight with me again. Just you. We'll see about that. Wait a minute. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, uh, do whatever you want. That was no big deal. <laughs> you hardly know who to believe these days. There's more, believe me. What is up guys, and by the way, uh, I just want to say quickly, you know, sorry for the uh, flying with the F8, but uh, that guy was getting booked for one and two, I want to have my gold back because I needed to learn certain things, 
I know this is a gameplay without commentary, but I just had to know quickly, you know, that uh, it wasn't my intention to uh, do this, you know, let me show you that, you know, but um, I had to do it in order to catch up with Raul who was bugged for some weird reason. Um, I think because I jumped up, you know, on the same moment that he was saluting me. But uh, I had to make sure he got book free, so sorry about that, but uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Same old thing, all over again. I'd have gone about it differently. I've got no time for things like that. All that matters is strength. No one really wants to hear that. How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? He thinks it's as Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. Same old thing. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of ring around the rosy with the sheep? Is it really true? There was no big deal. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. That was no big deal. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Wanna risk a little bet? It was his decision, wasn't it? I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? I'm staying out of it. Sure. Let me see then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. You have to step in and sort things out. I think no not. Deal. What was that? I think I'm going to keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. That will never... Oh my god. Ah. The fight. Don't take Ouch. any crap. That hurt. Watch out. Ouch. That hurt now. Show him. Watch out. I don't think this is going to change. Finish him. Not bad. Telling you anything new. Where did you pick that up then? Nothing amazing me Yeah, he really said that. Where did you pick that up then? Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. Alright, you win. What do you want? That's all just gossip. I want to join the mercenaries. So what about handing me my sword back first, eh? That's really not my Here's your sword back. High time, too. I want to join the mercenaries. Okay, I don't carry grudges. You can fight, and that's what counts. Most of the lads here think nothing of a little brawl amongst friends. You'll get used to that. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. Is it really true? Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm still. I'm not telling you anything new. Where did you Sorry, pick that I'm skipping. Hey, I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. He ran like Beliar himself was after. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. Besides, in the Valley of Mines, I mean. No. Of course not. Nobody Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering then. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. 
agree with you, trouble as it is. Can you teach me how to forge a sword? Sure. That'll cost you a bit, though. Let's say 30 gold pieces. Fine. Here's 30 for you. And that was a damn good price, too. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to forge a sword. It's quite simple. Get yourself a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then put it on the anvil and hammer the blade into shape. Most important, watch out that the blade doesn't get too cold. You only have a few minutes at a time to work on your weapon. The rest you can find out for yourself. It's merely a matter of practice. You listen to the wrong people. It's a bad it was just like you said. What about forging equipment? What do you need? You listen to the wrong people. You should really have known better. Nobody will learn anything. It was quite from obvious. Me. You just have to listen. I'm not telling you anything. That's yet. the first I've heard. Nobody of it. will learn anything from me. You can't rely on. Will it ever change? But he knew that all along. It had to happen that was obvious later. all along. Wouldn't be so sure. Yeah, he really said he that. That's no secret. He never would have thought of that. I don't himself. believe this is going to change. That's the truth. There's nothing you can do about it. Really didn't deserve All that matters is strength. Why would you ever ask so don't tell me that. It never changed. But he knew that all along. You don't have to tell me that. I never knew that. I never thought as much. That's all just. Custom. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons. That's the as long as you aren't one of us, I'll be damned if I tell you the secret of the magic ore weapons. Only very few blacksmiths know it at all, and I believe that not even the smiths in town know anything about it. And that's a good thing, too, otherwise those boozers of the city guard would all be wielding magic swords next. It's a bad business. He never would have thought of that himself. Don't say you didn't know that. I'd have gone about it differently. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony. Remember? I couldn't care less. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, uh, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that photo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. No one really wants to hear really didn't deserve that. What are you going to do about the thief, then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. That's not what I heard. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had anything to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. Believe everything you hear. About the swamp weed. Here's a few stalks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. Do you really believe that? But he knew that all along. I'm no better off myself. Did you pick that up then? How's it going? The militia has bullied us long enough. Now that the mercenaries are on our side, they won't dare to just show up here anymore. The king may think he can get away with anything, but we're not going to take it anymore. In town, they're talking about a peasant's revolt. Nonsense. We aren't doing anything except defending what we've worked hard for. It's certainly true that the war is being fought on the backs of the peasants, but Onar is no longer prepared to just stand by and watch while the king bleeds his dry. All that matters is strength. So don't Can I rest somewhere around here? 
If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the barn. But don't lie down in a mercenary's bed by mistake. Onar makes sure that they leave us farmers alone. But with strangers who don't belong on the farm, the mercenaries can do whatever they like. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you're the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. I don't believe this is gonna change. It's the first I've heard of it. It's a bad business. That's been known a lot. What do you want from me? This is gonna change. No idea. I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? That will never change. Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. I could tell you. That's a listen to the wrong people. I'm not telling you anything new. He ran like Beliar himself was after him. If he doesn't see that, you listen to the wrong people. What are you smoking there? Wanna toke? No. Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Where's the package? What do I know? I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Have you ever tried shroom tobacco? Sounds interesting. Give it here. All right, here we go. Have you ever smoked that stuff yourself? Well... Have you or haven't you? I've been sort of busy. Oh, shit. Holy Robar. That stuff is way too harsh. Don't even try it. Where's the package? What do I know? Well, we'll see the next time. Where's the package? 
Okay, okay, okay. I sold it to some bum in town. It was at the harbor. I can't remember what he looked like. Could it be that you need another thrashing? <laughs> this man, I was totally stoned. I don't have the slightest idea what the guy looked like. It was at the harbor near the boat builders. That's all I can remember. You listen to the wrong people. Hey! I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. Where did you get that? You poor sucker. Where did you pick that up? You didn't even have any there? gold on you. That's, That's exactly what I said. Wait a minute. There's more, believe me. You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? Yeah. Well, that we'll felt see the good. next time. Not to him, I suppose. The little beggar has no business going through my chest. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. <laughs> like hell will I vote for you. You don't have to ask me, you have to feel sorry for the poor guy. It was his decision, wasn't it? You never would have thought of that. You really should have known better. Done that. What with? What with? Nothing's ever going to change that. I'm no better off myself. That's a lot of gossip. I've got my own opinion about that. It's a bad hey, business. Hey, where you think you're going? To the house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? I've heard a thing or two. He and I go way back. You're a pal of Lee's? I don't believe a word. But go on in. If he doesn't recognize you, <laughs> you'll know it. Lee's in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. That was quite obvious. Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head, got it? What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. They'll walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. Has anyone tried to steal anything yet? A few, and I caught them all. There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right, and most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. I've got an old coin here. Hmm, show me. Oh yeah? That won't bring much on the open market. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Exactly as much as it used to be worth. It's a deal. Good. If you have any more of those, you'll know where to find me. Interested in some more old coins? Sure. Do you still have any? A few. Thanks. Here's your money. Bring me all you can find. That's really not my problem. 
really didn't deserve that. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm, just where did you escape from? They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Who let you in here? What are you doing here on my farm? Everything all right here on the farm? I don't see how that's any of your business. You don't belong on the farm. I want to work for you. I don't need a farmhand right now. My people see to everything else. You have no business here in the house, so get out. You're revolting against the city, or so I've heard. Now listen up. I inherited this farm and this land from my father, and he inherited it from his father. I'm not going to allow that greedy imbecile of a king to make off with all that just in order to feed his useless armies. The war with the orcs has been going on forever. And where do we stand? On the edge of defeat. No, I prefer to defend my farm myself. The money that I save this way can pay for my own army. I want to work here as a mercenary. You? A mercenary? Don't make me laugh. If you were any good as a mercenary, Lee would have told me about you. Now get yourself out of here, pronto. Who are you? I am Onar's wife, Maria. What do you want here? I just wanted to have a look around here. With all these men on the farm now, there's no peace to be had inside the house. They just keep barging in here. Do the mercenaries bother you? Oh, well, at least the farm has been a lot safer since the mercenaries came. Back when we were still on our own, the militia came from town all the time to plunder our provisions. They dragged off the better part of the harvest, and they took some sheep, too. They did nothing for us in return. A few of those scoundrels even stole from us. So what did they steal from you? Mostly gold and silver. They even took my wedding present, a golden plate. I bet it's now gathering dust in the chest of some filthy city guard. Has anything exciting happened here lately? The paladins passed by here. At first we thought they were going to attack the farm, but they were headed for the Valley of Mines. I have a golden plate here. Would this be yours? Yes, that is it. Thanks a million. So, what about my reward? Do you want to hire on as a mercenary here on the farm? No, not really. Then take this gold as a reward. You've earned it. Tell me about Onar. He's a good man. 
a little grumpy and very impatient, but we've all got our faults. I told my husband, why do you let the soldiers from the city treat you like that? Do something, I said. So he hired the mercenaries. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a war. But then we are at war, aren't we? Everything fine with you? If it's something important, go talk to Lee. Otherwise, leave me alone. Where did you pick that up then? You listen to the wrong people. Who the devil let you in here? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you Nothing think that? Me Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barrier. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man Nobody could survive something like me. that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. As trouble as it is. I absolutely Nobody must talk to the paladins me. in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the is. paladins? That's a long story. I'd have got I've got different. time. <sighs> Zardoz sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, really the Eye of Inos. So you're still allied to that necromancer, that then? I see. And the paladins have this amulet? As far as I know, yes. I can help you get to the paladins, but first you need to become one of us. I never knew that. How can you help me get to the paladins? Trust me, I've got a plan. I think you're the right man for it. I'll take you to the paladins, and you'll do me a favor. But first, join us. I agree with you. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simple. He I'm gonna like see to it that we all get off this island. Onar hired us to defend that. his farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I can't believe but that. our reward is more than just our pay. By helping the farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. And the less the paladins have to eat, the sooner they'll listen when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? like Essentially, it will be about our pardons and free passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. That. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? So don't tell me that. I've heard a thing or two. Sure. He got caught by the paladins and was sent back to the Valley of Mines with a penal convoy. If the road to the Valley of Mines wasn't plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent really a couple true. of the boys already to free him. But the way things are, there's no point. Poor devil. I'm not telling you anything new. I want to join you. I'd hope I you say that. that. I can use every able man here. You the last mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. Nobody ever asked In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's Nobody one or two things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. I've heard a thing or two. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. You can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's the boys. I can only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries agree that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? See that. By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should say. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. What do you know about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. You, you just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, that. tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. Know that. I know that this secret guild exists here, and that the water mages that. are behind it. 
Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course, I still help when I can, but most of the time, I have my own problems and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Cord. He's one of them, as far as I know. I already know who to believe these days. That was obvious all along. Everything fine with you? So, you want to join us then, hmm? Huh? Do you even have a decent weapon? I'm not telling you anything new. How did you end up with the mercenaries? I came with Silvio from the south. We belong to an army of mercenaries which fought against the orcs. I wouldn't be so sure. What's your opinion of Silvio? He's a dangerous fella, and many of the mercenaries who came with him this far listen to what he says. Better not pick a fight with him. I'm not telling you anything new. What's your opinion of Lee? I think that the only thing Lee is really interested in is getting away from this island. He new. wants to go to the mainland. Seems to have a bone yeah, to pick with someone there. Sort of At any rate, he does a far better job than Silvio yeah. ever could. Moreover, he's a good leader. Most of the time, we can do whatever we want here. That's not what I heard. Would you mind if I joined you? Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. I'm not telling you anything new. What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. Is it really true? He really didn't deserve that. Nobody will learn anything from me. Don't say you didn't know that. That's been known a long time. I've heard a thing or two. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. It was just like you said. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Do you really believe that? Nobody ever asked for my opinion. That's not what I heard. I'm in enough trouble as it is. <laughs> you hardly know who the is. He didn't get that from me. Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the tasks that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll learn to respect the most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge, an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. What about you? Will you vote me in? If you can prove that you can fulfill the duties of a mercenary, yes. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? Let me collect the rent. Good. Listen. The farmer Sekob hasn't paid his rent to Onar for weeks. Onar wants him to cough up 50 gold pieces. Any questions? Where is Sekob's farm? In the north of the valley. Looking from here, that's to the right at the big crossroads. 
If you have problems, the farmers in the fields will help you find your way around the area. What's the matter? Hello, I'm new here. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the Damn mood it. for conversation. What's I'm up? totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. What can you tell me about the farm? This is Onar's farm. That big building is his house. He vacated a wing for the mercenaries. We farmers have had to bunk in the barn ever since. But it's alright with me, it's good that we have people who guard the farm. The kitchen is in the building with the smithy in front. Maybe you'll be lucky and Thecla will have something for you to eat. What about the mercenaries? Onar hired them to keep the city militia off our backs. But they also guard the farm, the sheep, and us farmers. So don't even think about stealing anything or rummaging around in somebody's chest. They're just waiting for a chance to knock you down. Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and uh, very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. Well, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but... Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture. But Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. You do that for me? What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. Everything else all right? 
Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? I'm not a field hand. And what do you want here? We have nothing, so you can just leave right now. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't tow the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time, but I'm his deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. If you say so. Wait a minute. So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Will you stop it now? Oh my... Slug him! So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> Forget it. You won't get anything from me. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tan your hide. Come on and try it then. Well, in that case... There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, hey, claiming up? he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But? He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, ten gold pieces? What do you say? No problem, but I want more money. All right, twenty gold pieces then. I want more. Thirty? All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. Hey! 
You, the farmer? Don't make me laugh. You're nobody, really. What? Want me to smash your face in? Sekub is the farmer here, and you're nothing but a small-time crook who's trying to wangle money out of people's pockets. Says who? Says me. Sekub wants you to go back to work instead of loafing around here. So what? What are you gonna do now? Well, let's see what you got. I hoped you'd say that. Oh my... Oh my... Not bad. Nothing there. So, who's the nasty guy over there? Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to get into trouble. Go ask somebody else. Don't you try that again. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet-talk me, boy. Tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work, and you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? Maybe. In that case, you should go and see our farmer Sekob, the old slave driver. Maybe he's got something for you. Of course, you could also try Owner's Farm at the end of the long road. But beware of the mercenaries. They don't take to strangers. Say, the nasty fellow over there. That's Bronco. What about him? Is that your farmer? Ha! <laughs> is that what he told you? Sakob is our farmer. Bronco is nothing but a layabout and a good-for-nothing, but strong as an ox. That's why nobody says anything when he doesn't work. The only people who could get him to work are the mercenaries. He's afraid of them. And apart from that? I'm busy. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? <sighs> Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, and now I want my cash. Hmm, well, business is business, right? What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal clear off. Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. This land belongs to the big farmer. You're only the tenant here. Onar wants you to pay your rent at last. You're several weeks behind. What? And he sent a villain like you? Not even you believe that. Get out of here before I forget myself. Fork over the dough or I'll bash in your teeth. You're not going after my purse, you criminal. Not you. Oh my god, a f
We'll see about that. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? Where do you have the money? Don't hit me again, please. I'll do whatever you say. We'll pay your rent then. But sir, I don't have anything. I'm just a poor wretch and half starved. My last harvest dried up completely. I want to pay my rent, but I just don't have anything. Have pity. Cut out that piffle. It rains here all the time and your larders are full. Pay your rent now or I'll kill you. No, please, here, take the gold. I'll even add a bonus if you let me live. See, that wasn't so hard. I'm ruined. Hey. Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually, it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately, but you don't look like you're one of them, or are you? What are you doing here? I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere, and so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings, and he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekob. Believe me, sometimes I wish the barrier were still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? What can you offer me? What do you want? Barrier? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? Because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away. And we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. What does Onar's help look like? Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass which leads to the Valley of Mines. How can I get to Bengar's farm? Go ask Balthazar. He's our shepherd. He sometimes leads his animals to graze on Bengar's pastures up there. He'll be able to tell you how to get there. Keep your chin up. Take care of yourself and don't let them get to you.
I'm not touching that. Not really true. That's all just gossip. Wait a minute. I'm not touching that. Doing all right? Hey, I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. Nobody will learn anything from me. Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. Where did you pick that up, And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. Where did you pick that up, then, or two? Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Where do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. That's the first office I'm gonna change. All that is not what I heard. So don't tell me that. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Anything from me. Nothing amazes me. I will never change. I collected the rent from Sekob. And? Did he pay willingly? I had to convince him first. These days. Well done, you passed your test. That'll convince a lot of the mercenaries that you have what it takes. That was obvious all along. I've got my own for a thing or two. I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering then. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. I've passed the test. Good. I'll vote for you then. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then, but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against them and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island, and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation. Plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. 
And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other. I don't care if you stick to the rules or not. Just as long as the boys wind up out cold in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulco. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? Rod looks a little worse for the wear. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raoul. And? He was badly in need of a proper licking. That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of true. you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get you on your good that. side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to you be really seen. Have known better. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can that? decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those felons from the penal colony? I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. He really should have known better. What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, oh, those morons really get on my nerves, especially Silvio no and his fat like buddy, Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so fun. forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? Whack them with my rolling pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly bastards just hit that. back. It's better to I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Things Go find yourself a place in the barn. Anything's possible. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try I that, really honey. As far better. as I know, Silvio has magic armor. Those he can't be wrong. defeated. What about Bulko? That guy is as strong as an ox. So far, he has flattened anyone who Nothing's tried to mess change. with him or Silvio. Hey, it has come to my attention that you have it in for my boys. And as far as I know, you're one of Lee's protégés. I'm warning you, a few things are going to be different around here soon, and we'll talk about this again then. Thecla has a problem with you. So, what is the dear lady's problem? And why doesn't she come herself? You know that damn well. Why don't you go discuss that with my friend Bulko for a while? A lot of people talk about you. A lot of people talk too much. What do you think of Lee? Oh, he's a good fighter. I would not ever want to pick a fight with him. Unless, of course, it couldn't be avoided. Hey, you! Silvio doesn't like me to talk Put to you. Put down that weapon. As See, now. that wasn't so hard. Never change. 
should have known that. Obvious. Nothing's ever going to change that. As if I never changed. Can't believe that. Why have I heard about this? It's not what I heard. I was staying out of it. Don't say you didn't know that. I don't want to listen to the wrong people. I'm staying out of it. I hardly know what to believe anymore. We need to talk, you and I. What do you want? I think the best thing would be if you didn't show your face on the farm anymore. See to it that you're gone by tomorrow. We understand each other. That's quite a licking you took there, honey. Didn't I tell you? Now you know what I mean. I'm happy to see you're having fun. Don't you pull a face like that. You you're not the first one who got beaten up by that scum. Here, have, have a bite to that. eat so you'll gain back your strength. Let's wait and see what happens. Can I have some more of your stew? I haven't got any now. Not even a tiny bowl? No. And can I lick the pot then? You're Will you cut it out? If you're so keen on my stew, you'll have to do something to get it. Change. What? Go see Sagita, the healer who lives behind Sekop's farm, and bring me a package of her herbs. If you Same bring me the herbs, I'll make you again. some stew. It's better to watch out who you tell what. No idea, you tell me. I don't want to hear that anymore. That's no secret. There have been all kinds of rumors. Where did you pick that up? Yeah, he really it was his decision, that. wasn't it? I don't believe this is going to change. You picked that but up. No, then. he insisted he knew better. If you have a problem with wolves or field raiders, go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. What? Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, it's always about slaughtering innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh. What is it you want, then? Teach me how to fight. I only train mercenaries, or worthy candidates. I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon, then? So, how about one-handed weapons? I'm not so bad at that. And two-handed weapons, then? I'm surely gonna get better. Well, at least you're not a damn beginner. All right, I'm gonna vote you in. Whatever else you need to know, you can learn from me. What should I learn first, one-handed or two-handed combat? Those two types of arms are rather similar. As soon as you reach the next level with one type of weapon, you automatically learn for the other as well. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. If you train with one type of weapon only, you'll find the training more exhausting. If you always train both, you'll arrive at the same result with less effort. In the end, the outcome will be the same either way. It's your choice. What are the advantages of one-handed or two-handed weapons? A good question. I see you've given the subject some thought. One-handed weapons are faster, but a little weaker. Two-handers cause more damage, but you can't strike as fast. Also, you need more strength to wield a two-hander. This means additional training. The only way to become really good is to invest a lot of effort. I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lee told me about it. Looks like I've got a deal with you now, doesn't it? All right, so what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. You could help me to get accepted by the mercenaries. <laughs> I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. What else? I don't really need anything. I'll get along by myself. If that's what you want, you had your chance. And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? Help me become a mercenary. 
Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? It's already taken care of. Oh, I guess I can't help you then. What do you mean by that? Well, it means that I cannot help you. Or do you want me to go up against every single mercenary just so that you can join here? You'll have to do that yourself. What are you doing here? Guarding sheep. <sighs> and if possible, staying out of trouble. Doesn't always work, does it? Nah, especially not with the mercenaries. I'm really glad to be out here in the pasture, although it can be dangerous too. What's so dangerous in the pasture? There's a small pack of wolves that roams the area. Lately, the damn beasts have come by and eaten one of my sheep almost every day. A few days ago, I had almost twice as many sheep. I don't want to think what Onar will do to me when he finds out. Why didn't you tell the mercenaries about the wolves? I thought they worked for you. Yeah, I know. I should have done that, but I didn't, damn it. And now, with so many sheep gone, I'm afraid to tell anyone about it at all. But you just told me. I'm already regretting that, too. What if I kill those wolves? You? By yourself? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'd sooner trust my bellwether to do that. Forget it. It was just a suggestion. I'll go over to the boys and see what they say about it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, Em. You're the greatest and you can take on a hundred wolves at once. No problem. Mostly, they lurk between the trees near the pasture. I think there were only four. Hey! I've done in the wolves. You did it! Thank Innos. But now I still don't know how to tell Onar that all those sheep are gone. It's all that damn Bulko's fault. What did you say about Bulko? He's one of the mercenaries. It was actually his job to guard the pasture. But instead, he and his pal Silvio hang around Thecla in the kitchen all day. It's that bastard's fault if I don't get paid for weeks because of the lost sheep. I wish I could at least punch him in the mouth for it, but nobody stands a chance against him. The guy's a killer. How are you? And how are your sheep? I'm fine, and so are the sheep. That is, the ones that are still here are doing all right. You just have to listen. 
You didn't get that from me. That's been known a long time. Here, he really no, says that. The two of us should have a chat. I wouldn't know about what. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against you joining. Jarvis thinks you're on the right side. Court thinks you'd be good enough to join. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very... Reasonable man. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Bulko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay, and Dar says you're a blabbermouth. But his vote doesn't count for very much here. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. You're convinced most of them by passing the test. Although a lot of them say that getting a farmer to pay his rent was too easy for a test. You have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. That's not what I heard. That's not what I heard. You can't rely on that. Hey! It can't go on like this forever. I know that. It's a bad Of course we got in the end. All over again. I hardly know what to believe in. I don't believe this is going to change. Believe me. 